denture repair using e-fiber and perma-mesh. Most fractures in removable partial and full dentures are predictable in location. Lower full dentures most frequently fracture down the midline between the centrals. The initial step is to correctly reassemble the fractured full denture and secure it with cyanacrylate glue. Make a putty matrix to hold the assembled denture in its correct position. Prepare a groove or ditch where the teeth join the acrylic resin on the lingual surface. Use a piece of wax rope to measure the length of fiber needed. E-fiber is a very strong, opaque glass fiber pre-impregnated with both PMMA resin and bis-GMA that may be light cured to any shape to provide bonded reinforcement to acrylic resins, composites, and tooth enamel. The reinforcement fiber should be positioned in the weakest area, such as the junction of the teeth and acrylic. The reinforcement should be placed perpendicular to the crack. E-fiber is like a tree. A tree is fiber. In the wind, the tree will bend but not break. If you put the wood on end, it is very easy to split with an axe, as you would be going in the same direction as the fiber. However, if you attempt to cut the wood in half with an axe, it is very difficult as you are cutting perpendicular to the direction of the fiber. Cut the proper length of e-fiber and the clear silicone packaging with a sharp knife or scissors. Remove the impregnated fiber from the clear silicone packaging and use a hand instrument to adapt it to the size and shape of the lingual groove. Use a handheld light to cure the e-fiber. If necessary, the light cured fiber may be removed and adjusted with an acrylic burr. Paint a small amount of e-fiber adhesive in the prepared groove. Reposition the light cured e-fiber reinforcement in the groove. Prepare a mix of self-curing acrylic resin and fill in the groove with resin. An alternative is to fill the groove using the salt and pepper technique. Polymerize the self-cure resin in a pressure pot. The e-fiber has both PMMA and bis-GMA bonded to each individual fiber and therefore bonds to the PMMA self-cure resin, creating increased strength and toughness. The bonding also provides for easy adjustment and polishing, eliminating tissue irritating surface roughness. Permamesh is an extremely strong, thin, opaque e-glass fiber mesh that is impregnated with PMMA and may be wet or activated with either bis-GMA or a thin mix of PMMA for reinforcement and bonding. Permamesh is recommended for the repair and reinforcement of the facial surface of the denture base. Use a silicone polisher or acrylic burr to reduce a small amount of acrylic resin from the area to be repaired. Three tenths of a millimeter is adequate. A small ledge is recommended as a finish line when using permamesh. Measure and using regular scissors, cut two small pieces of permamesh to fit the area to be repaired or reinforced. Make a very thin slurry mix of self-cure powder and liquid. Pour the thin slurry mix over the pieces of perma-mesh to activate or wet the fibers. The perma-mesh becomes translucent. Paint a small amount of self-cure monomer on the area to be repaired and reinforced. Pick up the wet perma-mesh with cotton pliers and place the mesh in the area that is prepared for repair or reinforcement. Adapt the perma-mesh to the contours of the denture. Place the second layer of perma-mesh over the first layer to provide adequate bulk and strength. The perma-mesh is super saturated with monomer from the thin slurry mix. Use a brush to add powder and create the proper contour of the denture. Polymerize the self-cure resin in a pressure pot with warm water. Remove the repaired and reinforced denture from the pressure pot and adjust the perma-mesh and acrylic to proper contour with either a silicone cutter polisher or acrylic burr. The materials are easy to adjust and polish as they become integral with the acrylic resin and leave a smooth, 
non-irritating aesthetic surface.